LDLC blir gruppvinnare i grupp B. Detta efter en övertygande vinst mot Liquid. Vi har med oss NBK efter matchen. Uh, NBK, uh, as we didn't talk to you guys yesterday, we have to go through yesterday's matches. So, looking at the first game, CLG, you were kind of shocked. What happened? Um, I think the upset came because on one side we played pretty poorly and on the other side they had an excellent game. Um, that's how you create an upset, it's as simple as that. So we had some troubles within the team, uh, communication-wise and focus-wise. And uh, yeah, I mean, Peter just played one of his best games of Counter-Strike, I guess. Uh, he just single-handedly took us down. And uh, yeah, that was a tough game. That was a tough game to start with. And then we bounced back with Fnatic. Yeah, looking at the Fnatic game, uh, you played Inferno. Uh, you and Fnatic are probably two of the best teams on Inferno, but it seems like you have a slight edge on Inferno. Um, tell us about the game and playing Fnatic on Inferno in general. Um, I think we got used to how Fnatic are playing on Inferno, and uh, both our teams didn't change that much for the past one, two months on Inferno. And so that's why this, this match really gonna probably be 60-40 in advantage. So it's like a very, very slight edge, and it just happened that we played better than them yesterday. We had the good decisions, we were getting the good ideas, and it just worked out very, very well for us. We, we just had a textbook Inferno play, pretty much. Um, yeah, that was just a good game for us, I guess. Uh, and today's game against Liquid, what was your prediction or how confident were you before the game and how did the game go? Well, we know that Liquid are strong. Uh, despite what people could say, uh, they completely damaged CLG yesterday. Um, well, they lost heavy against Fnatic, but they're an upcoming team and they're playing very good. So we just wanted to do the same thing against Fna uh, that we did against Fnatic, which is just being extremely focused, play our A game and uh, stop not turning ourselves. So we were just kind of concerned about the map and it happens to be on Dust2, which we were pretty confident on. So in the end, happy about how we played. Um, we could have closed probably two rounds earlier, but you know, that's not really a big deal because we knew we had a very high advantage uh, coming into the second half. And uh, yeah, just a very solid win to go into the semifinals. Um, and thanks to the win uh, against Fnatic, you guys are winners of the group, but could play like any team from Group A. Is there any specific team you want to play uh, now in the semifinals, or would you like to like save NIP for the final? Well, I mean, you have to think one match after the other, and uh, we have an excellent record. I think we never lost against the, uh, NIP in official games. I mean, we dropped maps, but we lost once at the very beginning of the team against them on Inferno. So we're confident playing against them, very confident. And, um, even if we wouldn't meet them, every other team is good as well in the group. I mean, Cloud9 destroyed NIP, Kaboom destroyed uh, Cloud9. So I don't know. It's this line is kind of a mess so far, and uh, anything can happen in Group One. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to know who our opponent is going to be, and then we're going to just prepare the game and come 100% focused to the semifinal. Yeah, and uh, looking at X Games as an event in general, as well as Aspen, you were one of the few teams that came here like one day earlier than the others. Uh, how do you spend your time here? <laughs> well, the time was spent between shopping for snowboarding, then snowboarding, then eating. It's as simple as that. No, it's a very, very good place. We're very happy to be here. And that, that extra day, I think, even helped us into preparing the tournament. As in, we were very rested yesterday. We were feeling good. Um, and same for today, I mean, it's just like a small edge you're taking to the other teams. And yeah, we were able to enter ourselves on the ski, on the, on the ski mountains and, uh, you know, it was, just, it was just a great time and it's a very good place. Yeah, well, thank you for the interview. Um, good luck in the upcoming games. Any last words? Uh, well, as always, I will thank LDLC, uh, Ballistics, AOC and Kuro Master for all the support they're giving us. Uh, thanks to everyone following us from Sweden or for any other country. It's always a great pleasure. And uh, yeah, thank you for the interview.